So what was it like for Hannah before she started working on her mindset and the mental game and like mental training? It was a struggle. Um, she is typically a really confident young girl, but, um, she was going through a rough time. And I think now in hindsight, the pressure she felt in softball, we all didn't really clue into, you know, it's just one of those sports where it's on you. It's not, not on anybody else as far as performance. And she really, really took that hard when she messed up. Mm -hmm. And um, how how did that like affect you as a parent? Like, what was that like for you seeing Hannah like struggle through that as a parent? It was probably one of the hardest things because you as a parent can't do anything about it. I mean, you can you can try to talk at home and you know give her positive affirmations, but if she is not feeling it in her head, anything you say just doesn't help at all. And that's kind of where we were. Yeah, totally. And then, so what kind of changes have you seen Hannah experience and um, have like learning different things about different tools and skills about mental training and her mindset and confidence? Like how, what have changes have you seen over the period of time that we've worked together? I would say the biggest one is of course, overall confidence, but, um, you know, before she started working with you, she would just kind of be a yes girl. And even in her mind, if she knew something wasn't right, or, you know, I, I shouldn't put up with this. She always did. Mm -hmm. And since working with you and getting some more tools, I've really seen her be able to push back and almost like I envy how she is able to push back in a confident way, but not a nasty way or, you know, kind of going against her elders, so to speak. I mean, she just stands up for herself and is like, you know, this isn't right. And this is how I'm feeling and we can do better. Oh, I love that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I was not even expecting that. So I was, I mean, that, that makes me really excited to hear that. Um, then what, what made you guys choose? Um, well, I transitioned from the, men, the mental game mentorship into the confident athlete, but what made you guys choose my, my programs? Um, when there's like probably maybe some other things that were options or maybe there wasn't because I know a lot of people have shared like I didn't know what else to do so what kind of led you to my direction I would say the fact that you're a young female that played sports yourself because um she had seen a sports psychologist before just we kind of explored it mm -hmm. but it was an older man who you know played sports you know, 30 years ago or 40, but the fact that you had played in college and you played her sport was, was helpful too, mm -hmm. but you got her in a way that we didn't really understand what she was going through, I would say. Yeah. And then if you, so if you had a, if there was a teammate of Hannah's or a friend or uh, another parent that was kind of experiencing these same things and knew about my program, but were a little bit hesitant or afraid to join something like this, what kind of, like, what would you tell that, that other parent? I would say explore Paige's program. Um, you don't have to jump any, into anything you know, a firm commitment, but just, you know, you're very active on social media. So check out what kind of things you do, um, get an idea of options. And the, the thing that I like is you're willing to work with families and get to know them and figure out exactly what's going to fit for them. Yeah. It's not, you know, just one size fits all. Really? Awesome.